just your thoughts on the Tamir Hamlin situation and how the team uh, met and discussed, uh, discussed things today. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, it's a situation that, you know, no one can even fathom or think of. Um, you know, all of our hearts and prayers of, of all of our families go out to him and his family. Um, you know, it's a tough situation, but, um, you know, this is part of it. It's part of the game we play. <coughs> did you, what, what were conversations like with you and Claire about it, if at all? Yeah, you know, she did, you know, some of what her research could be or, or what it may be. Um, but, you know, obviously you just hear that it was just a freak thing, you know, it's just uh, the ticket time and how it happened. Um, but, you know, like I said, that's the risk that, you know, all of us take when we strap on the pads and go step out on the field. Yeah, young players often don't think about it. You think young players, old players, I don't think it matters what player. I mean, no one really thinks about that. You know, you think about your, um, you know, your, those hits where, you know, a guy might get paralyzed, you know, which obviously is, you know, some of the worst things that we've seen happen on the field um, where a guy, you know, has a, a broken injury or whatever it may be. Um, but you never really see something like this. So, um, you know, it obviously shocked every single person, you know, not only on this team, but, you know, kind of around the whole world. So, uh, like I said, it was, it was a wild freak accident, um, but, you know, it all comes along with the job, too. Yeah, some of the medical research was saying, uh, you know, the, the little, like a kid, baseball hitting a kid or a hockey puck hitting a kid right in the chest, is that, you know, how they've seen this happen in other situations. So it's not really a football injury, but how do you guys try to size um, or square the, the, the you know, physical nature of the game with a situation like that? Yeah, obviously, you know, I'm not a, a medic or anything in that in that standpoint. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, like I said, when, when we signed up for this job, when, you know, whenever we were little kids or whatever it may have been, um, we knew it was a violent sport. Obviously, you know, how violent, you know, obviously those terms were to see. Um, but, you know, obviously, you know, you just kind of, and it's tough to say it, but you kind of just got to keep going. Um, you know, if you, if you go out there and hesitate um, when you're playing, um, in any sport, that's where injuries are going to happen, not only to yourself, but other teammates as well. Um, so, I mean, you know, you just kind of got to go out there and, you know, play with a sense of no fear. Thank you. Yeah, we moved on to this week, you know, it's obviously the last game of the year, last game for you guys. What's the emotion going into that? Finish. Um, and, and, you know, a lot of these guys are excited, excited to get out there and play. Um, you know, we, we talked about it today, just being grateful that we have the opportunity to, to be out here and play one more game. Um, you know, like we said, this has been a lot of our dream jobs ever since we were little kids. Um, this is something that, you know, we want to do every single day. Um, and so for us to be able to have the opportunity to go play one more game, um, everyone's excited for that opportunity. Is there something to winning that last one and taking that momentum into the, into the offseason? Oh, 100%. Um, for us to come back, you know, whenever we come back in April, June, July, um, to look back and say, okay, how did we finish last season? Did we finish it on a high note or a low note? Um, you know, if we finish it on a high note, um, obviously everyone's going to be feeling good and, and, you know, juiced up to, to get back to it, um, to where we were. So, uh, of course, obviously finishing this um, for us um, means a lot. You know, it means a lot of momentum going into next season to just better ourselves, to be better than we were last season. What, uh, in, in terms of uh, you personally, what, what types of improvements are you looking to make as you go into your fourth game? Yeah, take it as they come. Uh, you know, I feel like I did a good job, decent job of that um, this past week. Um, but just give me what they take me, you know, not forcing it, not trying to do too much. Uh, just going out there and, you know, playing my game and, and being loose and free. What, you've been in a lot of, you know, game-winning drive type of, types of situations throughout your um, career. What's the key there to being successful where some people aren't? Yeah, like I said, uh, after the game, just being calm and cool. Um, and collective because, you know, not only do you see that obviously yourself, but everyone else sees and feels it. Um, so, you know, if you're out there frantic and panic and don't know what's going on or, you know, stutter with the call, this and that, um, you know, those other 10 guys in the huddle aren't going to be, you know, as apt to go out there and execute the play fully. Um, so just being calm and cool and collective, um, just knowing your job, knowing everyone's job, what they're supposed to do, um, and going out there and executing at the end of the day. Are there any things that you think I'm more comfortable and better at this X or Y than I was three weeks ago? Uh, yeah, I mean, I would say, you know, everything. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you only get better with reps and, and practice, and um, that's all I've gotten is, you know, live reps and practice reps. So um, just getting more comfortable, you know, obviously with the whole offensive scheme and uh, everything that we do and going into game plan week and how you prepare, um, and then obviously going out there and playing, you know, you get more um, comfortable and you see different looks every new week. What's the about uh, Tampa Bay's defense? Yeah, uh, you know, they like to confuse the quarterback a lot. 
Um, you know, they play a lot of five down, like to get after the uh, get after up front with the rush, um, and then confuse you in the back end to hopefully have you hold the ball for a tick second. Um, and, and then obviously, you know, they got some players on the on the back end of it, whether it's either Mike Edwards um, or Anton Winfield. You know, those guys are flying around the ball and coming up and hitting people. So, um, you know, it's just going to be another challenge for us. But you know, we're ready to go. Does your first watching Tom Brady ever play? I know you're facing off against him at quarterback to quarterback. Yeah, I mean, I remember watching him as a little kid, um, but yeah, we're going out there and playing Tampa Bay. We're not going to play Tom Brady. We're going to play Tampa Bay, um, and you know that that's on the defensive side. I ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> what would a win in your final game of the season do for your confidence heading into the offseason? Yeah, you know, not only my confidence, but you know, I think everyone else in the teams of, of where we want to go and where we want to be. Um, you know, the fact that you know there's been an up and down season, and we've tried to get over the hump. Um, and stay over the hump and you know now it's going to be like you know you, you hopefully finish these last two games off um, and then you know you got a long waiting period before you get your next taste of um, football um, so obviously getting out of here with a win is going to be huge for all of us um, to carry the momentum into the off season to you know obviously better ourselves for next season. I know you already talked about Monday night the Bills and the Bengals game but how did that put things into perspective for you as a player and you're a parent as well I know it's a little girl but still yeah well you have 100 percent um and not t taking things for granted excuse me um you know we, we talk about just you know this is our job this is what we signed up to do and what we've worked for our entire life um to take you know one play or one second for granted um you see how quick it can be taken away um and so you know it's just you know about respecting everyone um, you know, loving what you do and who you do it with and, uh, you know, not taking a single thing for granted. And Eric Harris had a message for the team. Was there anything that in particular really stuck out to you about that? Yeah, like I said, don't take, you know, a single day for granted. Don't take um, the, every single guy in this room for granted, who you're with, what you do, um, and how we do it. So after that, it is, you know, don't take it for granted. Nothing you do, nothing you can say or anything. As a quarterback, as a leader, do you kind of take it upon yourself to really check in with some of the guys and make sure they're okay after seeing something like that? Yeah, for sure. It's, you know, it's kind of funny you say that. I, uh, you know, walked through on Friday morning. Uh, you know, me and Keith uh, Smith kind of had a, a little a bump into each other, and you know, I thought he was coming in to give me a hug, and then he, I guess he wasn't. I was like, oh, that's cool. He was like, he was like, you want a hug, bro? I was like, I'll take a hug. He's, like, I'm like, you know, everyone needs a hug every once in a while, um, and it was kind of just a little cool moment right there between us two, um, where you know, it's like. You know, we're all big, bad, tough men, whatever you want to see, whatever you want to call it. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, sometimes everyone needs a hug, too. Yeah, you mentioned the, the back end, guys. Uh, what do you see when you're looking at the defense and, you know, Levante David? He's, he's been doing it over there for a while. Yeah, he's been doing it for a while. And uh, Devin White, too. Mm -hmm. um, those are two long, kind of lengthy guys who like to blitz, um, like to get their head in there. And you look on the outside, you got two lengthy players. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we'll see if 24 plays or not, but um, those are two tall, lanky guys, like cover speed, um, like to press, like to get grabby with you. So, you know, it's going to be matchups one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, and the other guy, everybody knows about Vita Vea, the big, the big guy up there. Uh, but what, what, what do you see on those other linemen up front, that how they try to bring it? Yeah, like I said, they, they try to win with power, try to win with speed. Um, yeah, try to push up in the O-line. Um, like I said, they try to do a lot in the back end to confuse, to time up with a rush mm -hmm. um, to get to the quarterback. So it shall be an interesting challenge.